uh, and Abhishek Singhvi of the Congress Party, a member of Parliament, joining us the, uh, as well. Abhishek Singhvi, just to first come to you on this, and and the Congress is rather uh, sort of uh, not so great performance as far as these exit polls are concerned. Uh, if you had to, you know, have you know introspect on what's really going wrong. What do you think the biggest problem is at the moment? Why isn't the Congress the able to problem, get out of this? Uh, as you know, Nidhi, the problem, and good to see you back. Uh, the problem with these polls is that you take them as a given, and you're not supposed to question them. No, no, please So I'll play the them. game along mm -hmm. to the extent there is there, and let me just point out, and I stand by what I personally believe, and I'm not speaking now that the polls are over. One can be more frank than before. I personally believe that we were on a winning wicket in Punjab. But the party was undoubtedly spoiled a little bit because of some of the static we found, and Aam Aadmi has gained an edge. So I am disappointed there. It was a winning wicket, a winning uh, state, but we may not do as well as we should be doing there. But I totally disagree with the projections here on two or three points. One, Uttarakhand, I would be astonished if we lose. There is in Uttarakhand already a contradiction in your polls, and I'm now playing the game of the polls. The ABP and the Republic give us an edge, indeed a victory. The India Today one does not, and I think that is sufficient indication. According to me, the BJP is losing, and the Congress is making the government in Uttarakhand. Number three, as far as Goa is concerned, I have no doubt that Congress will be the single largest formation. It may not be a majority, but the BJP is doing badly in Goa. in terms of getting a majority now after that what will play out in terms of a coordination or a arrangement with the ap or somebody else i don't know but i don't accept that bjp will make anywhere near a majority of course we have lost right. both goa and manipur with stolen majorities and okay. we have to be very careful with the money bags just one or two more sentences and i'm done uh, uh, vasu one is up look these figures again in up there's a contradiction you know people are giving from 225 to the bjp to 326 i've got the polls here in front of me i'm not speaking from your chart alone but i've got sheets here which match your charts so times now of all if i may add of all channels is giving 1 225 to the bjp and 151 to the sp the response to the rallies of akhilesh suggests that this may be a gross understatement also the response of people journalists and people who have been actively there and i have had some very close contact with them suggest otherwise so again i think in up there is going to be a very close one or a real surprise either of the two okay manipur i can't say manipur can have stolen majorities and very rare things i can't really comment on that that's my summary of the five state of the four states okay but abhishek again with the caveat that we are playing exit poll exit poll that we are willingly <laughs> suspending yeah. skepticism to to you know for the sake of argument except that these are broadly the trends wouldn't you still say that if it emerges that you've lost punjab you are barely perhaps holding on to uh, a chance of a, a victory in uttarakhand which you should have won comfortably goa again a state uh, which should have been a clear outcome but which again is going down to the wire and manipur is again a state where there was discontent congress not able to win wouldn't you say that there is something to consider about how the congress is not just you know looking at punjab but in a wider sense running as a political party and fighting elections and uh, if so I... what what do you think would be one or two inherent problems well you know this is a bit of a glass half full glass half empty perceptual difference here if i just tweak your formulation millimeter only it seems to me that out of five states the bjp is in power in four it loses uttarakhand which according to me it is losing it loses it does not get punjab and it does not have the single largest in goa so you automatically change from a perception of a glass half empty to a glass pretty full as far as the congress is concerned next point 2 there is a very real possibility and let me be very frank we were not in the winning game in up but if there is a close call or a win or a surprise upset by akhilesh then you know where our votes and our support will go i think it's a no brainer that well, leaves no, that, <laughs> our loss well, in punjab seats. our loss in punjab versus the uttarakhand and goa combination for us i would say minimum two states for us minimum so for sure well no, no, so not, no no sense of anything going wrong nothing with how 
No, no, of course Because it's growing wrong. We should not have lost Punjab. I don't like the idea that we lost Punjab. I'm not saying everything is hunky dory. We should make it in. Uh, we should have made it in Manipur, but I think we are in difficulty there because of a variety of practices. Manipur is basically a state leaning towards the Congress, but I don't think we can match the money power and the antics which the BJP is playing there. So things are not as good as they should be. But then things are pretty much worse for the BJP. Pretty much worse. Interesting. All right. All right.